Hi there, I'm Rachel and I'm here to tell you a bit more about Lincoln's history. Now, if you're a student here, there's no doubt that you would have already seen the castle and the cathedral and just had a general look around, but do you know the origins behind them? Now, it all started with the Romans, where in 50 AD they settled. They built a massive wooden fortress around the entire city and called it Lindum Colonia. They then built this fortress up into old stones and brick, and you can actually see uh, the evidence behind this if you follow the Roman trail. Um, one of the most popular archways that you would have seen is called Newport Arch. Following this, William the Conqueror conquered England and in 1068 he ordered the uh, construction of both the castle and the cathedral, although the castle came first. The castle features the medieval wall where you probably would have taken your parents around there or gone out just for a daily walk and seen it. Um, and a part of that you also have the Lucy Tower and Cobb Hall where famously Henry VIII brought Catherine Howard to just go for a walk. Lucy Tower is a burial ground for prisoners that were hanged and um, Cobb Hall is where you would view the hangings if you were part of the public. There's no doubt that you also know this too, but Lincoln Castle is home to one of just four copies of the signed Magna Carta. It was signed in 1215, but then it was reissued in 1217 with a second chapter. So technically Lincoln is home to the only physical copy of the first chapter. There's also the Victorian prison within the castle itself that was built a bit later. Um, this is where you'd get anyone that was caught stealing a handkerchief to actually murdering people. So you had kids there, adults there, and it was actually one of the first prisons to develop the separate system, which is basically isolation um, in the past before, I think 1848, most prisons would generally just put people all together in one big holding cell. And then four years later, in 1072, the cathedral was built. The cathedral is located opposite the castle and at one point, although many people still consider it to be, was the world's tallest building because of its main spire. The spire reached 520 feet, but around 200 years later, it collapsed. However, it still does remain to be the fourth largest cathedral in the UK. Now there's also High Bridge, but it's not commonly called this, it's usually just called Stokes Cafe. Um, it's the cafe where, it's basically next to Primark in the High Street, um, and behind it is the Glory Hole. It is currently the oldest bridge in the UK that has buildings still on it and is currently a grade one listed building. It was built in 1160 and originally had a chapel that was dedicated to Thomas Beckett, but this was later brought down and ever since it's been replaced with some form of cafe or shop. There's also Jews House and Jews Court, which is located on the left if you're going up Stoop Hill. There's no strict date of when it was built, but it is believed to have been built after the 12th century. Jews Court was once a medieval synagogue, um, but in 1266 it was attacked. And ever since it's just been either a restaurant or some form of bookshop. And the house is one of only five surviving medieval Jewish houses um, to have survived during the 12th and 13th century. And then back to modern day history, kind of. Um, you may have noticed if you've driven around campus at all, the massive tank memorial that's located in the middle of the roundabout, located by Gateway and campus in St Mark's. Well, in 1916, the first ever tanks were designed and built in Lincoln. This is also why the university thrives within the engineering industry. So that was a brief introduction on the history of Lincoln. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know which other historical facts you know about Lincoln and thank you for watching.